I'm gonna show to you guys how a modern turbo combo works, okay? We've been talking a bunch about this. There is a lot of stuff that goes in and out, but like we have a good time now to actually compile a bunch of information. We're gonna show you guys some stuff that we did on the dyno with more than one vehicle. And we have pretty much the fastest one running out there. Here are the track. So you guys can see some cool runs at the track right now. It's qualified number one. But let me show in depth on the vehicle how big turbo or small turbo, but how can you put it together to run up front on today's approach. Everything starts with the foundation. Because turbos, as everyone knows, can build a lot of power, you need a really good engine. And when I mean engine, it has to be strong, right? This particular vehicle uses a Proline AJ combination that is really strong, right? And is able to pump a lot of exhaust to spool the turbos. Once they spool, the turbo take over, right? But look at this. Come on, come on. Come on, really close. There is nothing in between the engine and the turbo. There is no wastegate. There is no wastegate. Everything that comes out from this thing goes to this side, the hot side of the turbo. When that happens, it spins the turbo, moves the air all the way to the intake manifold. But we have a little trick right here. We have a gate that usually will be like a waste gate on exhaust, but it's actually placed on the charge pipe. What does this do? It allows you to run a better bust curve. So when you spool the turbo, it's making a lot of air, trying to go inside the motor. And if you don't have enough, it doesn't leave the line. If you have too much, it's hard, it's hard to manipulate. This little thing allows you to leak some air and create a better boost curve. But in the end, what do you want to do? You want to close it. You don't want to run this open, right? You don't want to waste anything. So this is open just early in the run so you can manipulate boost up to a point and the behavior, give it a takes like a supercharger. So the curve becomes closer to a supercharger. It's not that lazy ramp that goes up and goes somewhere. It's higher on the leaf and nicer and flat all the way to your max boost that will be limited by your turbo. So pick these details. The turbo size, and that includes exhaust, has to match your engine. You cannot try to run a badass motor like that with twin 45s. That won't work. And more likely, this is not enough engine to run like twin 140s either, right? But you can pretty much run 88s, 94s, 98s, 102s, and then you're going to need to work around other stuff, not a wastegate and not this guy, but camshaft, engine displacement, some stroke, turbine housing, so the hot side housing, right? And again, you go into the intake, injectors the same, this car runs 16, the amount of injectors is required, the amount of power that you make. So, this beauty right here, I'm going to tell you, 5,000 plus. It makes 5,000 plus, right? When? Quick. So it's not the regular turbo car that it pulls up five pounds on the trains brake and takes two seconds to make 50 pounds. This thing will leave with a substantial amount of boost. We talk about 20 plus on a big Hemi. And we will achieve peak boost early in the run like a supercharger, about a second and a half in the run.
So when you do this, allows you to run a longer first gear or even run as a two-speed. That makes the car easier to tame, easier to handle. So less gears may help you, but it's a curveball, right? So on this particular deal, Pro Mod, it will make north of 5,000 horse. It will run 88 to 98, right? Depends on the class, the rules and stuff. We won't have any wastegate on the exhaust, zero. Everything from the engine goes to turbo. And you only control the leak, not an exhaust, on the charge pipe. So this is, on today's standard, how you manipulate properly a turbo car and haul less. But you can actually do the same on smaller engines, smaller turbos, different applications, right? But on the same concept. And also figure out your combination, and now I mean head, cam, turbo. It works like a champ, freaking champ, right? So stay, stay a little longer, and some cool runs of this one this weekend, right here, Flying H, fighting for 150K. He's achieving a lot of stuff that some people struggle to achieve, let's be honest, okay? But I'm gonna give a lot of props to you. Not just because of you as this vehicle, but there's a lot of stuff that sometimes we don't talk about it. Transmission and converter, right? So we have this beautiful, crazy high horsepower power plant, but in between this and the tire, have your stuff. Yeah, and that's... That's what everybody's on us a little bit. It's like, I keep telling them, it's not the combo. You know, they're, they're turbos, turbos. It's not the turbos, it's the package. It's the package. You know, it's like I told you, from the, the fuel tech, traction control, is, I'm telling you, if you guys don't use it, you're crazy. It's so good. You hinder yourself. It, it, if you don't use it, it's like, oh, let me let me put a weight penalty by myself. That's yeah, pretty much what you're doing. It's just sitting over there. The way I look at it, it's sitting there overlooking my shoulder the whole time when I'm doing a tune-up. And it fails my ass out. <laughs> now, last time it didn't, but I got greedy. That, was, that last was on mark. So, <laughs> but it's right. But it's just, I tell everybody, it's not the combo, it's the package. It's the E-Gate, it's the Proline Hemi, it's the fuel tech control, it's the trans converter, the race car. So you know, honestly, we are too used to say the combo is the power adder in the engine. Right. That's that's how we talk about it, yeah, right? It I don't think it is anymore. No, it's and not. people don't realize the combo includes converter, transmission, chassis. It does, yeah, and race car, I mean, especially Pro Mods. Pro Mods, these cars, everything's race car. Like, and I try to tell people, you know, we, we manipulate the tune-up some, power management, but probably 75% of what we do is race car. Like it's ranching. If I look at the race it's track, ranching. we crawl under there and move stuff, move, you know, weight, strut, shocks, ride heights, it's everything. And it's, like, this car's eighth of an inch increments. Like, if I bring the crank up an eighth of an inch, it's a whole different race car. And I mean, it, uh, it, it moves, right? It's massive, and it's just the package. We got a, a good package. The E-Gate lets us get away with stuff we could never get away with before. Let's us do stuff with the converter we could never dream of doing before. But it, I tell everybody, it's a, it's a blower car. We, we don't talk much about this, right? But like, it's me and him right now, right? Yeah. There's nobody behind here right now, but his crew is like five guys plus. Yeah. You know, so like, th this is the deal that sometimes people don't get it. Like, oh, that guy has the advantage because the turbo rule. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. There is maybe a small edge on the rule here and there, not necessarily turbos. It can be the screw one year, can be the nitrous other one. But honestly, what it makes you use it is the crew behind it. It is. Right? Yeah. Keep the parts for That's why I tell everybody, like, this car makes run after run after run. You, people don't realize. I mean, literally, it, my guys go home, this car's just a simple front and back. They got 60, 70 hours in it. They're, you watch them, parts don't fall off of it. We, you know, I mean, and that's what's helped us 
when you make good runs and under control, it lets you focus on other parts of the car you're not normally focused on. If we're focusing on trying to get the thing from shake the tire to spin and you're always just zoned in, well now it does that. I don't think twice about it going down. So now we look at every little bitty minute thing on the race car and that's the best, that's what's helped us the most, I think. It's just we we just focus on everything, you know, because we're not working our butt off trying to make it go down the track. Man. We're working on the engine. I mean, these engines from Proline, L listen animal. to this man Beast. this thing is it's, he's kind of spitting out to hear the package you know it like is. oh just, i mean this thing is just it never fails us i mean we get them from those guys and i literally have taken a brand new motor a fresh motor from proline threw it in a car went a career best first run wow you know i mean how do you are you you know it's it's but there at proline you got 10 guys back there working on this thing again so, it's a crew right it is and you got it's not one guy chance, so if you look at there's there's a hundred people have their hands on this car a different part so you know and that's to do. what i benefit i'm like you we're in the business i get i deal with professionals like you and steve petty and brandon Stroud, Jamie Miller. so we benefit from those relationships and that just everybody just thinks it's just not us you know it's danny and all the doug and all the guys at the pro line are you know they take pride in this shit. If it doesn't go down, they take, or something happens, they take that stuff personal, you know? Yo, oh, 100%, it's like personal. Shop, my shop, my guy's in shop. Something happens in the trans or converter, that's, that's a bad day for them, you know? And so, that's what helps. When you got guys that really care, really, really just all work together. I mean, that's it. Okay, so you're selling this package now? Well, yeah. can, can they call your number and just like yeah. you just send them an invoice I'm like right. you yeah. can do the turbo well, promo yeah, I'm pretty much Eric Dunn's been salesman of the month for uh, turbo Hemis right now we've sold out how many packages for him he's like where are these coming from I'm like man people are they're paying attention. It's coming. You don't see a lot of turbos yet, but I promise you next year there's going to be a fleet Man, of these things. I personally know over five. Yes, there are. Right? Is. There are people either swapping to or building a new one turbo base, and I think this is amazing. Well, look at Andrew Zada. That car was at Bickles for a pro charger. So uh -huh. We started hauling ass. They ripped all that out, bolted turbos, and you saw the video. Let's talk about the, the green car, oh, that yeah. badass car that just made 5,200 of the tire. Yeah. <laughs> Pro Charger car, and they were like, nope, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it's, it's fun, I, I love to innovate, you guys love that, you want to innovate stuff and work stuff out, just, I don't know, something different. Man, I, I love when you have those waves, you know, because yeah. honestly, we saw, you know, at some point, nitrous cars were actually faster than boosted cars, yeah, right? They were. And then he overcame, besides extreme stuff, right? Right. But then they came, and then you had like a lot of turbo cars back in the day. Remember, they're oh, they're yeah. popular. Then they went down, and then the his crew kind of came slowly. Then the Pro Charger took over. There was like a Pro yeah. Charger fever. Yeah. It was everywhere a Pro Charger. Then he slowly kind of screw again, and then you come swinging by right <laughs> next. To, yeah, let's bring turbos back. Well, and like people come. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's well, awesome. We, we, you know. We benefit from all of that, you know, from the, the swing, the Pro Charger stuff, working with you and ProLine, that, that benefited us all financially, business-wise, allowed us to grow yes. up here. But we just always in the back of my head, I'm like, man, we got to get this turbo combo back because it's part of us, you know, part of it's pride. You know, it's always been my deal. Me and Jason have always run their turbo stuff. But some of it's just business, you know, me yeah. and Eric are looking at yeah. it, you know. When you make 5,000 plus horsepower, it's, it has to all, go. It, it, well, but there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of after them work. You know, there's a lot of work on these things. I mean, they're bulletproof, but you still, they're high maintenance. Just anything makes that much power. Oh, 100%. So 100%. that was our goal is, you know, for, you know, for pers some personal, but mainly business, let's get this back and bring all of our people with us. You know, that's why, look, I call our group, you know, my group, us, you, Proline, RJ, Blake Housley, you know, I, Chris Bell, you can go on forever. But it's oh, a there's group. a, it's a and that's long list. Realize. Behind the scenes, it's a group working. It's not one person, you know. If I pick up the phone, you answer and say, hey, we need to do this. We got it, we're gonna do it. If I call Chris Bell, Chris, I need something on the strut, shocks, dunk, engine, whatever. And that's the difference people don't understand. They, they don't see that. They don't see all the work behind the scenes. So. Good said, stuff. Yeah, it is, we're having fun. Good stuff. I, I just, I've raced for 35 years, but I'm having more fun than I have right now. Wow. I, I've never had this before. <laughs> And it's just, when you have a car that goes down every time, it's just fun. It's cool. I see you bring your family, yeah, you know, everyone is racing. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. great. Yeah, it's no, great. It's good. Cool stuff. Yeah. Cool stuff. Well, 
Good luck. Thank you, Thank you again for sharing again. We talk about this so many times, but I don't care. I think it's really cool, you know, and doing something different. And not just different, it is fast. It's proving a concept, you know. People can do it, you know. You share the knowledge. I think that's awesome. You know, you provide the parts that you build. You know how to steer people, like what you have. I think it is, this is really cool. I think it's good for drag racing overall. I think it is, and this is a, it's a pick up a phone and follow by this package. There's nothing special, everything could be wrong. You heard the man, you heard the man. You call me and Eric Gordon, you call them guys, field track, and uh, you can have it all, I promise. Okay. So check out some more runs, because like, race is not over. Man, I'm cheering for you. All right. Let's see what's going to happen. What's going to be the battle? We're still on top. <laughs> we got to stay there. There's some badasses coming. Up, yes, so. sir. <laughs>